Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kurt, and welcome back to Spin Tires. We've brought this truck back from the dead, having left our our lost load off somewhere in the woods. And I'm going to I'm going to attempt. We're going to start out this episode uh, nice and slow. We're going to attempt to reload our our lumber here. Reload our our our, our logs. Our what's the word I'm looking for? Our, wait, oh, are these long loads? Oh, these might be long. No, those are long over there. Yeah, these are these are medium, right? Anyway, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the thing with the crane, the crane, and the uh, position and push anchors. We've got our anchors, boat anchors. We've got our crane. Oh, oh god. <laughs> okay, that's what you do. And then whoa. Okay, Let's flip it around. No, no, how do you... There we go, I wish to tell it to... Okay, alright. We're, we're learning, we're learning here. We're gonna, we're gonna play the crane game, is what we're going to do here. For the first little bit of this video, and then we will... What else do we need to do? Whoop, I'm so sorry. We need to, we really need to... Uh, unlock... I've been looking at the map like this. I'm confused when it's upside down. We really need to unlock that cloaking, so I think maybe we will take one of our eight-wheeled monstrosities. Well, not one of. I think the other one is out of commission, is it not? Uh, we'll take one of our uh, eight-wheeled monstrosities and finally, once and for all, uncloak this area so that we can actually find a safe path pathway to the objective on this side of the map. So let us let us begin putting that plan into motion. Alright. Oh, can I pick up two at a time? Boo, yeah! I am so great! G-R-A-T-E. Alright. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm gonna lose one, actually. Alright. Oh, I've lost both of them, actually. Dang it. Well, maybe I'm not as great as I originally had planned. The views, the views, the views in this, uh, Yes! Wait, no. In this mode are, are a little bit uh, difficult to deal with. There we go. That's gotta be a... Yeah, that's a, a steady grip. If I ever saw one. Alright, no, no. I need to bring it over here nice and slow, nice and steady. That, unfortunately, is perpendicular to the direction I wish it to be. So let's... I want to control the crane grappler. Oh, maybe I should go the other way. <laughs> Whoa! God, that's that's a good way to, to bust your crane. All right, just a little bit. Oh, God. All right. All right, now let's put it down. Down, down, down. Okay, I'm, I'm between the forks, at least. Yeah, it's really... Okay, now bring it forward. Forward, forward, forward. All right, we're, we're stuck there. Let's release... Lift and separate. All right, one down, two to go. I am very thankful that this only takes that this only takes uh, two, two uh, or three. I'm sorry, it takes three logs, three logs for which to fill your your load. I'm getting a little bit of a better handle on this crazy uh, control scheme, where you have to hit the. No, get back here. Don't go. Don't roll away. Where you have to uh, use your brake pedal to choose on the on the left side there, you can see the little asterisk. I've talked about this before. The little asterisk next to the component. You, you hit the brake key on your key on your uh, controller to to adjust which which thing you're 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 adjusting. And right now, I wish to I wish to grapple, lift, oh, nice and easy. Oh no no, move it a little bit out. And up. All right. Whoa! Oh, I just dented my, my hood. That's all right. All right, let's bring it over, bring it over. Nice and steady. Stop. Rotate. Get stuck. No, no, don't. Okay, woo! Now put it. No, no, down, down, down. No, don't. Don't lose the other log. That was a panicked... Panicked move. Oh, God. This is... Okay, no, no. 
Uh, yep, yep, everything's straightened out. How about we just... Yeah. When in doubt, just drop. <laughs> Stop, drop, and, and roll. Alright, that's a little bit crazy in the back. Alright, camera, I gotta I gotta do something about this. The camera is driving me mental. Alright, there, though, this might be a little bit better. Alright, so now I wish to control once again the crane grappler so that I can... Wait, how do I... Oh, whoops. Oh, no. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Get it in a uh, position which allows me... No, 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 no. Go forward. Out! Yes, yes. Now down. No, no, down. Up. Back. Down, back. Down. Up, down. And grapple. All right, we've got... I'm, I'm getting pretty good at this stuff. I'm trying to think of a game where this is at all similar. Now what happens if I... No, okay, I was hoping maybe it would, like... If I had that disabled, it would actually, like, self-rotate to match, but it does not. It is, it is not, uh... Oh, crap. It is not self-stabilized. Oh god, I'm losing the lumber. It moves a little bit too quick. Oh god! Like, there's no... Oh god. <laughs> Um, how do I go down? There we go, okay. Easy, don't lose the, the, the rest of the load. Yeah, I don't have, like, control over the angle. Let's move it up a little bit. Oh, God. No, no, up, up, up. Okay, let, let gravity help us out here. Let's also try to have the camera. Hey, how you doing? Oh, my God. All right, try to have the camera in a place. Oh, this is not... There we go, let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, stop, right there, camera. All right, now let's let's try to make sense of this mess. I think these are the sh medium logs. I hope they are anyway. All right, just fall in. No, no. All right, that one is need to place two more. Okay. And yeah, these are <clears throat> Excuse me, these are not not lined up. Maybe I should uh Push them down over here. Am I right? Good. Oh yeah, yeah. Is this is this good? Is this no? I need to place two more. No, nope, dang it. What happens if I yeah use this use it as a a fist of justice? <laughs> Get pushed. Get pushed into place. Yes. Is that good? Oh, they gotta like be moved up or something. What is the what is the ish? What is the major malfunction here? The, the sun is setting. I do not have time for these these shenanigans. Yeah, I guess they got got to move up a little bit. No, no. What happens? Whoop, 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 whoop. What happens if I like back into something <laughs> just to like move them in? You know, you know what I mean. Does that make any sense whatsoever? Is that a terrible idea? I think that's a terrible idea. Oh, these are much further away than I anticipated. Uh, all right, camera. Let's. Uh, this is exciting. Exciting footage, everybody. This is part of the Vigi game. All right, let's, uh... Maybe we can just kind of shimmy them both up at the same time. Stop jumping around. Yes, yes. There we go, there we go. Down. Grab. No, no, not up. I want in. In. Yes, like this. Am I in? I'm in! Pack. Need to place one more. What? But they're... In. Are they in place? Yes! Position your truck properly. Oh, crap. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm getting all choked up. That was a gross sound. I apologize. Uh, all right, so get out of advanced mode. And uh, hopefully as I do this... Huh, okay, is this good? Are we good? Oh, I still have my anchors. My boat anchors! Pack! Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. What? Position your truck properly. That has to be over. Okay, let's let's put the, the anchors away. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, that could cause me to tip over if I'm not too careful. Get that centered properly. Thank you. Alright, so let's... Just 
move forward a little bit and stop. Oh, no, no, don't go backwards. Are we good? Are we good, everybody? Ready to pack. Huzzah! We are sinking. We are sinking. All right, so... Uh, this truck is a little bit low on fuel, so I'm going to actually leave it here. And like I said, before we deliver this load, a successful load... We are going to hop back into... I forgot which truck, but one of these over here. Was it this one? No, no, this one is out of fuel. So let's change to the one we drove down here. Dang it! Change to the D357. 375, whatever this is. And let's find a way to travel through the darkness of night. And, uh, you know, travel, travel through the darkness of night. Oh, up that way is the rapids. We don't want to go that way. So let's... Oh, this might be kind of a long detour I'm going to have to take, but uh, around here, up this way, and then somehow make it to that cloaking. I might have to cross the river, uh, which might means I might need to get to that bridge or not. We'll see. We're going on an adventure, everybody. An adventure. This truck has uh, a little bit of uh, damage issues, I suppose you could say. Oh, no, no, I want uh, just everything on for this time being. Oh, this place seems like a good place to get stuck. Let's avoid it. Very nice, very nice indeed. I still got like 200 points of damage that I could still take. He says as he rolls very dangerously over a large field of Pointy Boulders. Pointy Boulders is my nickname in high school, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 man. All right, there should be a road up here somewhere, am I right? I might not be right. Okay, yeah, this is, this is the road. I think we've taken this road before. This is a road we have traveled on before. We are on the road again. As the song would say, that's very clear blue water for being in such a muddy, gross environment. Am I? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So this sounds quite terrible. Oh, let's just coast down here, maybe. Yep, because I knew I was going to take damage on the bottom. Very nice. I need to get this guy maybe to a garage. Um, see what add-ons he can take, maybe, as well. Might be able to attach a fuel tanker to him so that I can refuel... I could just recover that one, because I'm in easy mode, that the other eight-wheel truck we've had, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying my best, despite all of my, my otherwise fervent hatred of, of just getting stuck and, and having problems in this game. I'm trying to be a little bit legit with the way I'm playing it. Much like, much like I am with Kerbal Space Program. You know, I could, I could recover Wessels from various situations, or I could just kind of... Kind of, uh, use different game, either bugs or, or just unrealistic features. But I, I try to keep my missions and my rocket builds at least somewhat resemblant. Oh, no! Wait, wait, I didn't see this at all. Ooh, nice recovery. Oh, good thing of we have, like, more wheels than we could possibly ever need. All right, I did not see this at all. That would have been the second time a hidden bridge did me uh, major damage. Oh, what is this? Is this a third garage? Is this where the cloaking thing is? Wow. Yeah, they are. Uh, uh, oh, and there's another truck. Oh, and it's got repair valve. Val oh, I don't think I need repairs. Ah, uh, 
Yeah, I don't need re Oh, yeah, and this truck I need repairs. Can I not unlock this truck? Yeah, I can. Oh, please have repair points. This truck is in desperate need of repair. I need four points. Does this guy have points? Okay. He has 400... Oh, it's not... Okay, it's not the utility attachment. It's the garage attachment that gets me the garage points. The utility attachment allows me to repair trucks, which I will do right this momento. Because uh, the other truck doesn't need to be repaired, per se. It just needs fuel. Okay, yeah, let's... Wow, that was, this was fortunate indeed. Uh, utility detachment. Repair. Yeah, I wish you could, like... Uh, I wish you could say, okay, I want to repair, but only 200 points just to get him by, and then save 200 points in here for something else, but you've got to do all or nothing. Bam! Get fixed! Uh, this truck is actually one of the uh, more capable trucks. Hmm, we're still pretty close to... Oh man, we're actually really far away. Uh, let's... Aim towards that cloaking area. Yeah, we're kind of we're close-ish to this this lumber yard. It might be worth an attempt to uh, go over there and get the long, long, uh, long lumber loads with this truck. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That that's that's not my current objective. Yeah, running much more smoothly. Got an oil change. Tune up. Change some spark plugs. Oh god. Um, I cannot go over those mountains as much as I'd like to try. Those big boulders. So I guess we'll backtrack a little bit and try to make our way to that cloaking device. Yeah, I'm starting to think that maybe... Whoa. Maybe the, uh, the planes map, after all, was a pretty difficult planes map because there weren't this, this many... Uh, there weren't this many these many resources on it. It's just like me to give myself a challenge right from the get-go. Because I am all about... Oh, this... Oh, the fuel in this truck, however, is dire. 98. Uh, I want, actually, diff lock on, but all wheels off to save some fuel. That way, just the rear four wheels. Did I just take 98 damage? Alright, we appear to be traveling. Watch the damage here. We appear to be traveling in the general direction of the... Of the cloaking area. Well, okay, let's just take it nice and steady here. Uh, I don't like how the brakes are all or nothing. I'm using a controller that has... That has actual, you know, analog controls. But brakes are either on or off. Yes, the cloaking! Mission accomplished! I also see a light over there in the distance. Cloaking removed! Yeah, that would have been the better way to go. Uh, or even around the southerly. Yeah, that would probably be the best way to go, to be honest. Neat. All right. However, we are in a bit of a pickle because this truck is nearly out of fuel. Um, I could either try to get back to this garage to attach a fuel. I'm assuming. I have no idea what I can attach to this truck. I have yet to be to a garage. Uh, I could attach a fuel cistern. Or actually, what I should do is attach a, a four points of garage trailer and then unlock this garage that I just found in the middle. That way I don't have to go all the way back over this garage every single time. Hmm, that might be a, a plan, indeed. So let's, uh... Oh, of course, <laughs> even though I've unlocked the cloaking area, I'm still within some other cloaking area's situation. There appears to be a road right here. 
there a way we can get over there? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. These look like little tiny shrubs. So hopefully we can just plow through them. Yes, yes we can. We can totally plow through them. Take that, guys. Take it. Oh, this is right next to the... We're like right near... This is just kind of a hidden entrance way. So, where am I going now? I'm going to the right. And... I don't know. So somewhere along the lines picking up a road to get over there. Should, where am I at? I honestly don't know. So the bridge is to my left, so I want to take a right. Okay. Very nice! Very nice indeed. We'll save some fuel by riding on the, the highway here. I don't think my waypoints worked. No, they did not. See, let's just try to find a way over here. Very nice indeed. I'm just going to keep following this for a little bit, even though I know it's not exactly the direction I want to be going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting sucked off into the... I beg your pardon? Into the, uh, the... the what's that called on the side of a road? It's called a... Uh, a shoulder. The soft shoulder. Wait, no, I want diff lock on. Oh, alright. Well, uh, this might have been a mistake, but... Here we go, what are we at? 70, about 75? Exactly 75 fuel. Oh, it's the river. Oh, and it's my other trucks! Alright, this truck... Should be able to make it through this. Dangerous, da water damages truck, water damages truck. Oh my god. Alright, that wasn't too bad. But we made it. I can maybe tow that guy back. Ah, that might be a fun little experiment. Although it's going to take a little bit of fuel. Yeah, let's see what happens if I can't. Uh, yeah, let's tow him from behind. Let's have him auto steer. Let's try not to tip him over. Alright, but let's leave a little bit of space. Alright. Come along, little fella! That blue truck, I think, is completely useless, to be honest. Alright, let's turn uh, all wheels off. Doing alright there? Yay! Alright. We are on a, a rescue mission for both ourselves, with 62 liters of fuel remaining, and also to unlock... You're alright. Okay. I'm kind of going the wrong way here. What? Oh, all right. Well, maybe we'll... Oh, is this the road we're on? Yeah, okay. I think this is the road we're on. I think it gets a little bit sketchy around there, but I think that'll be all right. Very nice indeed. Yay! Progress. Knock on wood, still, sort of. You alright, guy? He's alright, guy. Oh, this might be a little bit of a situation. Alright, alright. Got a turn coming up. Don't cut it short. Okay. Still doing good. I'm actually going to turn off my lights because the sun is coming out. And it hinders me from seeing behind me. Down to 50 liters of fuel! Oh yeah, this is the part where it gets kind of annoying. Right, let's see how well we can get through here. Not terribly. Then again, not great. Alright, time for all-wheel drive. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck. 
Nope, I'm just plowing through with his uh, rear bumper is all I'm doing there. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. Down to 43 units of fuel. Alright, all-wheel drive off. No longer needed. Yay! I see lights, I think, in the distance. Oh, what was that noise? <laughs> Am I going too fast for you, guy? Awesome! Well, that's a one way to do it. Save a trip. It would be really cool to be able to daisy chain multiple vehicles together. Awesome, let's fuel up. This is also. Oh god, crash! <laughs> we fueled up. Uh, let's get rid of that guy. Uh, I probably actually need to change to this truck. It got repaired and uh, whatnot, so let me get him out of the way. Just so that whatever trailers and stuff I choose to attach don't spawn on top of him. Alright, yeah, you stay right there. Let's change truck. Whoops, whoops. He's outside of the scope of things. That's unfortunate. Uh, what was it? The 537? Alright, so now we have the tractor installed. We can install the cistern trailer. Cart with crane. Oh, this truck can be... Hmm. And then a long log trailer. Or a garage carriage. Which only carries two garage points. Ah, uh, but there's no long, large trailer, is there? Can carry loads, can carry loads. 200 repair points or two garage points. So I would have to make two trips with this thing to unlock that garage. Ah, oh, that stinks. Yeah, why don't I have uh, the option... The option for... Uh... Oh god, that would be a disaster. I don't know that I would want to do that. <laughs> Take this... This, uh... Fuel thing? Ugh. Um, although my that leather log truck might need some fuel as well, but I need to take it to... If I did want to take the fuel cistern, I would have to take it all the way over to this fuel depot, because those are the only places you can fill those up with, unless there are, there's one hidden somewhere in here. Oh, man, the, the decisions! The decisions, the decisions. Um... So, I only have the garage carriage, and there's no... Well, that stinks. I mean... <laughs> it looks a little bit dopey, but, uh... If the shoe fits! Yeah, I guess this is what we'll have to do. And we'll just have to make a couple trips. Um, yeah, I guess. That stinks. That stinks! Alright, let's do that. It has been decided. Well, actually, well, now that it's sunny out, we will, uh... We will we'll actually deliver a load to the objective, I think. Wait, which one is it? It's... It's this one, the 4320. <laughs> Things are already breaking on the 4320. Uh, but yeah, we have a, a load of loads here, a lo lo load of logs, excuse me, so now we can, we can set a course for history or something. Yeah, we can get out of here, and I think this is probably passable enough, and we can hopefully deliver our first load of lumber to an objective. I'm still not entirely clear. There are two objectives. In order to beat this map, do I need to deliver 16 uh, loads to each, you know, total, you know, eight to each objective? Not sure, not sure at all. Perhaps we'll find out next episode on Spin Tires. Ha <laughs> ha!